Herzlich willkommen zu einem neuen Video der Content Week, um genau zu sein, Tag 3 der Content Week. Heute mal äh, etwas zeitbedingt eine Reaction, äh, weil ich jetzt heute nicht ganz viel Zeit habe, äh, ein Video zu schneiden. Ich muss noch einige Sachen machen. Und ja, deswegen gibt es heute eine Reaction. Und zwar reagieren wir auf I built an unethical zoo where you make your own unethical zoo. Von Let's Game It Out. Der macht immer so verrückte Sachen in Spielen die man eigentlich nicht tun machen soll. Und ich würde sagen, wir starten einfach mal direkt rein. Hey there, it's Josh. Welcome back to Let's Game It Out. Are you ready for some Planet Zoo? Because that's what we're doing. Because you... <lacht> es geht schon mal gut los. Mm. Was? <lacht> doing because you can do this and some of this and a little bit of this what i'm trying to say is the possibilities are endless oh and also this video is sponsored by empires and puzzles but more on that in a little bit for now let's start our brand new park starting of course with this thing this is the default entrance to our park which comes with all the essentials you know like this thing a little ticket thing that lets people into the park and not to mention these magical teleporter pads which is where the people actually come from and an overall cheerful atmosphere but you know what that's definitely not what we're here for so you know this time around we're gonna do something a little bit different first off we're gonna take this entire building and get rid of it oh god avert your eyes the teleporter pads are naked now now there's all kinds of parts that would be perfect for building a normal park who Was wouldn't want jetzt? cool architecture like this i mean besides us of course because we're gonna take this park in a different direction so let's go ahead and create something kind of beautiful and by beautiful i mean terribly ugly okay that's more like it now this might look a little familiar because i made some Something like this in my very first Planet Zoo video. But I only did a little bit there. And I did a whole lot more here. So much. Ihr müsst euch mal vorstellen, der gibt dafür wirklich Zeit aus. Das ist hier nicht nur mit einem Klick gemacht. Der sitzt da wahrscheinlich ein, zwei Stunden, nur um diese Kacke zu machen. Nur um so hobbylos zu sein. <lacht> Uh. How long is it gonna take to get through this mess? Well, we're gonna know soon enough. But first, there's a couple of things we need to address. One, I didn't mean to hollow out the dirt around all the paths. It's mostly that when I was setting everything up, I accidentally left this setting on for tunneling, so it kind of made the walkway off the ground. But you know, that's probably okay. They would just have more time to check out the game from today's sponsor, Empires and Puzzles. This is an award-winning match three puzzle RPG that's free oh, to play nee. on Android and iOS. And the great thing about Empires and puzzles is it's super easy to pick up but hard to master. All you're really doing is matching shields of the same color to attack and then the rest is strategy. And you get to match through your way through a whole storyline featuring a kingdom that needs saving, traveling to faraway lands like Atlantis and Valhalla, and even do some tomb raiding. It's so classic you. There's also over 450 heroes you can collect and train, not to mention base building, player versus player combat, and alliances. And right now is a great time to get involved because empires and Puzzles is running some seasonal content called the Season of Love, where you can get five new yeah, so it's, it's games and me. 20 sages across three difficulty modes. I think this game just matched three my heartstrings. So if this sounds good to you, check out the game right now using my link in the description below, or you can use this QR code that's just sitting here on the screen. And Wenn ihr an solcher Art von Spielen interessiert seid, dann ladet euch gerne runter. Ich habe euch das originale Video mal unten in die Videobeschreibung reingepackt, dann könnt ihr euch da gerne runterladen, um ihn euch auch zu unterstützen. Aber für mich ist das kein Game. Each and every walkway they have to go through. I like to think of it as walkable art. You know how some art's supposed to make you angry? Hopefully that's what this does for some people. Or all das macht mich nicht angry, das macht mir einfach nur sprachlos, wie viel Zeit du hast für so viel unnötig Stuff. But we have a couple of steps we're still gonna need to do. For one, we gotta move the park entrance. Basically, they teleport in here, and then they officially enter the park here. And this is way too short a distance for them to have to walk for that. This Nein. feels way more appropriate. So we're gonna take these things and move them. Like, all the way at the other end of this thing. And there we go. Oh, God. Time. Now they have to walk through all this just to get to the entrance. Okay, we're making progress, but there's a couple more things we have to do. 
You see, people won't come into our zoo unless we have zoo-like things. And by that, I mean they're expecting us to have animals. Well, we're not going to put any animals right at the beginning, because then what would be the point? So instead, let's give them a little bit of a teaser of things to come. So first, let's start with a custom sign. And to decorate this out, I think we're going to use an old friend. There you are, our old giraffe friend. We're just going to put you kind of like this. Yeah, there we go. That's a good start. And to accompany that, we're going to use this speech bubble. Yep, that makes sense. And on that, we're going to put some lettering. Totally a real... Ah, fiddlesticks. I've run out of space. That's okay, though. We've got another helping head. <laughs> Oh, Joy, it's our lion friend. Possibly eating the giraffe, but who's to say for sure? Either way, there's your speech bubble. There we go. Nailed it. Totally a real zoo. You can trust them, right? Oh, wait, I'm forgetting something. I almost forgot your googly eyes. How rude of me. Oh, and I haven't forgotten about you. I've got a special effect with your name on it. Ah, here we go. Water jet large. Aww. Let's see, how's that gonna look? Oh, I feel like that's shooting farther than I intended. Time for a second one. And let's just take this one. And let's just go ahead and rotate it over this way. Let's see, how did I do? <laughs> oh, wow, that was perfect. <laughs> got to do that on all four. Okay, there we go. Nice complimentary tears to welcome you to the park. Okay, so oh, I think that's a solid start. As mentioned, <laughs> this no is there's, so dumb. there's no animals. So don't worry, we're going to add some. All the way over here on the other <laughs> side of the park. And don't you worry, we're going to make really good use of this. Oh, this is so dumb. One really, really big giant enclosure. Just think of how many animals we can fit in this thing. Can't wait to find out. First things first, though, we're gonna need to staff up a building, which is this animal trade center. We're gonna go with this basic crappy one, and then next we add an employee entrance to the habitat, followed by a pathway to connect the two together. And now it's time to staff up, specifically caretakers. So we'll just put one, and two, and three. They can only transport one animal at a time, and I don't want this to take forever, so let's just staff up quickly. Yeah, there we go. This should be plenty of people. Wow, well, I hope uh, people you work with, because there certainly isn't much walking around space. Just look at oh the gosh. steps. Oh, don't mind me. I'll get where I'm going eventually, even if I have to moonwalk my way there. And now that this is under a sort of control, it's time for control. animal trading. And that's when we sit here and buy every single thing we can. It doesn't matter what you are, there's a place for you in my zoo. But we can only store 200 animals at a time. So let's clear out this inventory and send them to the zoo. Okay, they're all going into the trading center together. Ah, yes, and this is how all the animals come out. They were all hiding from us <laughs> in one little room. And here we go. Ah. Yep, this is how animals are made. <laughs> one glorious nightmare <laughs> at a time. Don't worry, all you eyeballs and faces. We see you. Now, I'm not sure what's going on back here, except for this merry-go-round nightmare. Either way, I'm happy you're happy. I'm not talking about much else of this placing. But hey, at least a chunk of you broke off. I like how this big pile of creatures is still here. And meanwhile, there's one creature out there right away. <laughs> this cat is like, no thank you. Anyway, there are 200 animals. Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. This is what 199 animals look like in one spot. Okay, now they're starting to separate. Here we go. Everyone's starting to find their place. Ah, the way nature wanted it. This penguin being trampled by a seal and then potentially crushed by everything else. I know this is the look this guy would normally have, but it doesn't change the fact that this guy looks completely over this. Anyway, this is what 200 animals in one pen looks like. Time to go for 200 more. Yes, everybody uh. put together to shove yourselves orderly through that one door. What a ritual you've developed for yourselves. Surprise! See, this is what I like to see. Old Giraffe Hydra happily hanging out. But this... Vor allem, was der für ein PC haben muss, was er da teilweise macht, also... Der, der muss ja wirklich immer die neueste Hardware haben, weil ansonsten nicht die Spiele das nicht aushalten würden, was er da macht. Of, you know, all this. Look how horrified this poor creature looks. It just doesn't know what to make of this. And who can blame it really when, oh boy, here we go. Time for everything to flee as fast as it can. Now we can say we know what 400 animals looks like. Time to add some more. So hold, please, while we find out and see what this can end up looking like. I know, buddy. I'm sure you're sick of this. Okay, so this is what a thousand animals looks like. What a menagerie. Warum haben die überhaupt Essen und Trinken? Die gehen doch gleich alle drauf. Ich glaube, ich werde das sagen, aber ich denke, das wird genug Animals für jetzt sein. Weil wir bereits die Frame-Rate haben und es gibt noch mehr zu tun. Oh, und all von euch, danke für den Dienst. Ihr seid alle verletzt. Anyway, wir haben jetzt die Prerequisiten für einen amazing Zoo. Und jetzt, nach langem Zeit, ist unser Park bereit, um zu öffnen. Komm in, bitte genieße mein Zoo. Oh, boy, schau, unsere ersten Gäste sind bereits hier. Immediately sie in Tränen bevor ihre Reise beginnen. Jetzt müssen wir uns fragen, wie lange wird es dauern, um diese Menschen durchzuführen. Gerade jetzt, in-game, nach all den Bildern, ist es jetzt 
year 16, July 18th, which should give us a pretty good idea for how long this is gonna take. And they're so proactive too. Look at their synchronized running. Oh my God, this is gonna take a while. Do you see these people down here? I've already been following them for two real time minutes and they've basically gone nowhere. So hold please while we wait. <laughs> Und, wisst ihr, das mag jetzt wie so ein Schatz kriegen. Wer, wer ihn kennt, der weiß halt, dass das nicht nur einfach ist, so, oh, drei Stunden mehr, sondern dass das halt wirklich drei Stunden waren. Oh my god, they're finally almost here. I've been watching these fine folk as they walked across this entire hey. Oh my god, it's been excruciating. Also, kudos to all of these people, actually. They've been running this entire time. Speaking of, how long has it been, anyway? Ah, it is now year 23, <laughs> September 15. So that means if they started back in year 16, that means that they've been running for a solid seven years. Oh, oh my goodness, this is turning into something of a race at the end. With this guy now leading so, back. Oh wow, very impressive oh, so. victory dance. I wish I could go for a seven year run looking this maniacal the whole time not only is he almost there but there's all those animals to look at finally the journey will have been worth it welcome to the park sir huh wait why did you turn around and how on earth are you still happy about this in fact why is everybody turning around oh i think i know what i did wrong you see oh. those arrows there they're supposed to be facing the other direction whoops silly me that's caused everybody that was on their way here to turn around and leave just think by the time you get <laughs> home it's gonna have been 14 years but even more people are coming back into the park oh now that we know it's gonna take so long we should probably warn them huh hold your horses i can fix this there we go. Problem <laughs> solved. Thank God some people are finally here. Oh boy, get ready for some amazing animals. Uh -huh. Oh, you were so close. Well, at least you got to see them from afar. Don't worry, I'm sure that path will take you somewhere awesome. Who okay, gets this guess hidden? And I'm sure the animals will still be there. I definitely didn't put something in the water to make them sleep. Like the forever kind. I mean, we had to get our frame rate back somehow. I'm gonna go ahead and say it was worth it. Look at that smooth frame rate. And don't worry about all those animals you missed. You could just live out their glory days right here. Oh, you. Just so handsome. Anyway, after a long, long, long flight of stairs, there's plenty to see over here at our brand new train station. Look at that. We've got it all. Googly eyes. Weirdly sinister lighting. A sign that would never lie to you about how much fun you're gonna have. <laughs> yes, that's right. Line up. Don't everybody crowd at once. Oh boy, and here comes the train now. All aboard the fun train. I like the part where this family doesn't even stick together. All right, everybody, get ready for the fun of a lifetime. Let's see what our passengers see. Oh good, it's like a horror movie. How abstract and frightful. Don't worry, we've taken your safety into consideration, which is why our train goes a blistering three miles per hour. But it isn't all darkness and mystery. Look at that, I see something in the distance. Oh no, <laughs> What's this? There's a car on the tracks. This is gonna take some time to clear. Never fear, everybody. I've got some entertainment that's gonna be perfect for you during your formative years. Behold. Look, a television screen, all for you. Hey, what's the matter? Haven't you ever read an end user license agreement before? <laughs> well, don't you worry, creepy kid. You've got plenty of time to read it. I haven't forgotten about the rest of you. Just sit back and try and <laughs> flashbang in the darkness. Well, maybe this girl is like, I still can't see. I've got you covered. <laughs> and not just you, but everybody. Oh boy, am I excited to learn about disclaimers of warranties and limitation of liability. <laughs> oh, and you never know. There might be a test at the end. So study up. <laughs> I'm bitch later. Oh my goodness, wouldn't you know? Now that everyone's read that cover to cover, the car is gone. We're saved. I sure hope you signed at the bottom. And before you know it, we've gotten to our special laboratory, which is where we're going next. This weird futuristic looking place. Choo choo, the fun train is pulling into the station. All right, everybody off. Or I guess just some people get off. Oh, I see. You want more document street, huh? Well, don't worry. I'll get you on the next go round. All right, come on in. Well, I don't know about you, but this feels like a good sign to me. <laughs> well, let's check it out and see. First thing we have to do is walk uh, down this Death Star-like hallway. And this takes us to a nice, exciting viewing area. And hey, don't forget, if you need to review the end user license agreement, you totally can. Oh no, is it ending? Oh, thank goodness it's starting over. Oh, uh, nine. I explain to you exactly nine. what you're looking at. This is our special zoo creation laboratory. You wanted a zoo, right? Well, now you can make your own. After all, why should we save all the fun for ourselves when I'm sure the parkours have plenty to contribute? So here's basically how it works. You gotta use the animal generator 9000 here. And let's say you want to pick an animal, like this giraffe here. Great. Now that we've selected it, let's go ahead and let it get dispensed, which is gonna happen right from a hole up here. Ah, good. There we go. And here it comes. 
Wow, what a landing! My goodness, it's so majestic and surprisingly okay with all of this. But that was just a first test. Who wants the honor of getting this out of the way and trying it themselves? Oh, there looks like we have a contender. Yeah, you did that. They're gone forever. Okay, now that the platform is clear. Well, it's clear. Who wants to give it a go? Oh, it looks like we have a volunteer. Oh, polar bear. A good choice. <laughs> um, well, this could be traumatic, but I'm glad this lady's having a good time. I know what happened here, okay? Basically, nobody's ordered a polar bear in a while. So like a vending machine, they just sat in there and expired. Well, don't push it again. Oh good, now you've done it. Now you've done it. Look, I was trying to tell you. They're all probably dead up there. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, you little psychopath. Stop pushing the button. <laughs> anyway, yes, thank you for testing the button. Thanks for making such a horrible mess, you cretins. Alright, well, I'm gonna let this next generation of psychopaths get acclimated to this button. And my god, there sure are a lot of you now. Anyway, we're gonna head on over here to the next leg of our journey. Now that we're figuring out what animals we're gonna have in our zoo, we're gonna generate the scenery using our state-of-the-art facility here. Oh, pardon me, let me turn the lights on. Avert your eyes, flashbang out. Behold! In this facility, we can generate any scenery we want. Basically, it'll create it holographically for us to look at. I feel like there's an existing name for this, but I can't really remember what it is. Anyway, you see this display here? This is where we tell this facility what we would like to see. So, for example, let's say we want to see a lush landscape like this. No problem, we can generate that. See, watch. Activate sort of tropical scenery-ish. Ta-da, and here we are. A fresh new world that we can explore to put down a horrible zoo. Or I don't know, maybe you wanted a different environment. Computer, end program. Like, watch, we can try a new environment. For example, maybe you're in the mood for some holiday looking stuff. Uh, computer, please load. Was man einfach alles machen kann überhaupt in dem Game. Ta-da! How festive! There's like people and buildings and stuff. And most of all, everybody looks miserable. I might like this place. Oh, but the fun doesn't stop there. Computer entrance, please. We can always do something more exotic, like the moon. <laughs> you remember the moon, don't you? Of course you do. Pristine, beautiful, and waiting for a new zoo. At least that's how I remember it before the bad stuff happened. Okay, you know what? I think I'll leave it up to the people for the next location. I'm sorry, you want to make a Mars base of all things? Mars? Well, who am I to deny all of you excited soccer moms? All right, fine, computer <sighs> Mars or whatever. Okay, I hope you're all happy. And actually, you know what? Now that we've got our Mars setting here, let's combine everything we've done. Let's take whatever they've chosen for our animals and let's add it to our simulation. Ah, let's get from the other thing I'm above. Ah, I see you guys just kept pushing the polar bear button. Nice of you to free up the inventory. So let me make sure I understand this. Your idea of the zoo you want to make is on Mars with all these polar bears. Excuse me, I mean polar bear husks. Well, so be it. It's the zoo you wanted. Now, everybody stay right here for a second. I need to go do something real quick, and I think you're going to like it. Okay, here we are. So here's the final step of the zoo creation process. And launch. What, did you think everything was just going to be virtual? Nonsense. You picked out the zoo, now we got to go build it. You know that lab you're standing in? It's actually a shuttle. So I hope you brought snacks because it's a pretty long way to Mars. I want to thank Empires and Puzzles again for sponsoring this video. Linky in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. So I hope you had fun. I know <laughs> freak out with that Oh. Ah. War entertaining, muss ich ganz ehrlich sagen. Gibt auf jeden Fall like, schaut euch gerne auch das originale Video an. Immer ganz wichtig, klickt auf den Link, auch wenn euch das Game nicht wirklich interessiert, klickt zumindest drauf. Weil, auch wenn ihr quasi es nicht runterladet, das wird registriert, das hilft ihm in Zukunft, weitere Kampagnen zu bekommen. Und ja, dadurch unterstützt ihr quasi auch indirekt, obwohl ihr nichts kauft. Und dann würde ich sagen, was auch mit der heutigen Reaction. Ich hoffe, sie hat euch gefallen und wir sehen uns im nächsten Video wieder. Macht's gut, bis zum nächsten Mal. Ciao.